السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. How are you, brother? الحمد لله هوية. الحمد لله. Okay, let's begin. بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمي وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي. سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم. We are still in the first hadith because it's very important. So. Attention. In the mention. Yeah. In the mention. Yeah. Now, ah. The man can. Allah wa Rasuli. Hajratu illa Allah wa Rasuli. من كانت حجرته لدنيا يصيبها أبو امرأة ينكحها فحجرته إلى ما هاجر إلى. Again, I will uh, okay. I will tell you what is the condition of intention. Verily, deeds are only with intention. Verily, every person will have only what they intended. Uh, before I would continue what I say last time. What is the difference between this phrase, the first one, and this one? Yeah, the Prophet Muhammad say, verily deeds are only with intention. Yeah, I understand. Verily every person will have only what the intended. Okay, you said that in the beginning. So what is the difference between them? Of course, there is a better difference. So, but I want from... Intention is when you have the motive, so you have the thought, and then you do an action towards okay this is the first phrase or the second one intention that's the first phrase okay the second phrase what is the difference first of all only have what they intended so allah reward you only on your intentions so so if i make an intention to Help my mom. Yeah. If I do an action towards her, like maybe I'm on the way to go help her, and then I have the, the motive, I have the thought, then I will be rewarded for that. So every person will only be rewarded for what he intended. Yeah. So we can say the first phrase is, is the seed, and the second phrase is the fruit. Yani, when you begin any act, you should have intention. Why? Why I need to do so? Because in the day of judgment, you will have only what you intend. So this is the seed that you put. Very deeds are only with intention. The second phrase is the fruit that you get. Some scholars say sometimes it's obligatory, sometimes it's recommended when you need to make a recommended act. So anyway, we can say the general uh, saying about intention, it's wajib or it's obligatory. Mahil. Mahil is the place. What, where is the place of intention? Your heart. Some people, when they begin to pray, they say, I want to pray a zuhr prayer for Rafa. Allahu Akbar. Why you need to recite it, this intention? In general, the intention in your heart. But we have a condition here, and we, and we should be honest, that some people, sometimes when they make the intention with their hearts, they have a kind of whisper. I know some people, when they pray or make wudu, they say, did I prepare the intention of wudu or not? So maybe he will repeat his wudu, repeat his wudu many times because he don't know, or he doesn't know, sorry, he doesn't know that he prepares the intention or not. It's like me. Like I have like... So uh, if it become a kind of whisper and it harm your acts, say it with your tongue. I have that also with like, I don't know how to explain it, but like I always got to make sure that I do things like the right way. So, for example, sometimes I say Bismillah, but we say it four or five times for me to know that I said it yeah. right. Like, Bismillah, 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 like that. No, this is a kind of whisper and this is harm the Muslim. So if this will harm the Muslim, so you should make something else to not harm him. So for intention, 
you can say it with your tongue. For example, I am making wudu. Why? Because sometimes when it's become like a kind of a whisper, you will, you will repeat the wudu many times. So no, say it one time. I'm making wudu with your tongue. And inshallah, your name is okay. Before we read, before we read, we should know the rule. Inshallah, will not take a, a big time on that, okay? Just yeah. like maybe 10 classes or something. We finish the tajweed, then we will go to any surah you want and we can read it, inshallah, oh, okay? okay? Yeah, maybe I think maybe maybe you didn't understand what I was talking about. But yeah. all right, then no worries. Inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakumullah khayram jazal. See you in next class. Yes. Assalamu alaikum.